Oh, what a bitchy! Force scan. The say it's like the VCDS for Fords. Okay, you can get these uh, these wee leads here, the wee toggle switch on them, from uh, the usual suspects on Scamazon. They're about 20 quid, and you can download Forescan off the interweb for free, and you get a disc here with drivers and all that. However, if you have one of these things, a J2534 pass-through, you don't need any hardware at all. I mean, it'll work off this. So, in this video, I'm going to just run through a couple of things. This one here, there's a few things you need to do to make this run quicker. Uh, you need to know about sort of thing, you know. And, uh, yeah, there's also a very good channel on the YouTube of a Forescan expert. Knows a hell of a lot more about it than I do. I don't use it an awful lot. I don't get an awful lot of Fords, and generally speaking, I would just use that thing anyway. So, on... Onwards and upwards. Okay, first things first. If you have one of these, uh, a J2534 pass through, this one here is a, a Maxi Flash Elite. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go into the gargler here and type in Autel PC Suite. And you get that up. And it comes up with that top one there. And you go into support at all hotel firmware and downloads and hoover down a bit and download here for whatever device it is you have. So that gets you the drivers for this into your computer. So you need to do that first. And uh, then when that's in the computer, um, you can hoof up. Four scan there, and I've already loaded in, and there's the Maxi Flash Elite. So it gives you it it uh, sees those already in it. So that's all the uh, Maxi Flash Pro there, Maxi Flash Ultra, and all that. I have the Elite, so you can use that uh, program device with it. So I'm just zooming in that a wee bit. There we go. Maxi Flash Elite. And uh, there's the options there. So, but if you ha if you want to buy one of them leads, they're about 20 quid off uh, Amazon. I'll show you a wee bit about that. If you want to know more, and uh, I'm, in this video, I'm not going to go into how to download Forescan and how to set it up and all that. Uh, a very good channel on the YouTube there. SY Diagnostics, he has already done all that. So I'm not going to repeat what uh, Steve here has already already done. So uh, if uh, check his check his YouTube page out, there's a there's a bucket load of uh, stuff in for uh, all good bit of it's forward related, and uh, he goes into how to set up one of the, one of the leads there. So that we uh, ELM lead there. There's there on the Scamazon. That's the one that I bought. And as usual, guys, no links. Do your own research. I am not leading the link for this. I'm just showing you things. But an important thing with this is if you scroll down a wee bit here. Um, oh, down, there's a lot of pictures there. 100% genuine FTDI chip. Okay, so please check with FT Prog from FTDA website. Works with Forescom, ELM. So that's important for what I'm going to tell you now. So if you are going to go for one of these wee buys here, on the scams on or wherever, uh, there are a few settings that you can optimize. Uh, you know the speed, the data transfer speed, and you do that in your PC or in your laptop and uh, that will run a lot quicker. So on the Forescan forum, it, uh, it tells you basically how to do that. 
and again you can look that up yourself just type that into google forescan forum and uh, have a wee look through usb adapters performance optimization so so they're getting a minimum delay 16 milliseconds there and uh ftdi chip set so that's what you want and it basically tells you to lower the latency in your com port settings in your device manager and uh yeah so so it says change latency timer from 16 to 2 or 1 milliseconds reboot the pc and it also says here this trick only works with ftda chips uh, prolific and silicon labs and others have no this latency timer problem so they haven't got that latency timer problem so if you get one off uh ebay or amazon or something it'll be, it's bound to be uh one of those china jobs so uh this is what you need to do to speed her up so yeah there's a couple of other resettings you need to do so i am going i have a ford here so what i'm going to do is i'm not going to change any of these settings and then um we will change the sentence and see if the data transfer rate is improved. We've got our ELM connected and force gone fired up here. So, uh, key on on. And we get this message here. Now, I haven't done any of those uh, improvements that it suggested, but it says here the baud rate increase option may not work of work in a wrong way and adapters with a counterfeit usb bridge uh this change will only work for this setting please set the auto increase checkbox in force gone connection sentence for an automated baud rate increase so for this session we're just going to hit yes and continue on and it has established connection there Okay, it's been through its scan, so found a load of modules there, and there's a DTC and something or other. So we'll look at the configuration, and we'll see the minimum delay is 14 milliseconds, and in brackets, good. So that's it up there. So if we look at our connection sentence there, we're on COM port 3, and it says to check that checkbox auto increase and uh, we'll go into the computer and change the uh, advanced settings in the com port and uh, we'll run that again see if it makes any difference I'm in device manager and we'll double click that go into port settings advanced and that latency timer at 16 we'll hoof that down to 2 Click OK. Click OK there. And then I'm going to restart the laptop. OK, we've run another scan with uh, that change done. And uh, we can see our delay is now 3 milliseconds and in brackets. Excellent. There we go. That's it there. So that's an improvement. So the only thing I found there was this high speed can for the toggle switch and the medium speed can with the toggle switch is reversed so with the toggle down that is actually the high speed and with the toggle up it's uh it's the medium speed so that uh, that's the wrong way around for that toggle switch so yeah apart from that works well okay now i'm gonna run it with the uh I just have it in auto connect there but it's going to connect to the uh, Maxi Flash J2534 adapter there, and uh, we'll see what happens. So we've run the MaxiSys interface, and I can tell you that, that was a, a good bit quicker, and I didn't have to click the wee toggle switch. And if we go up into configuration, we can see that the minimum delay is one millisecond, and in brackets excellent so that's it there can't get much quicker than that 
This is that J2534 pass through the maxi flash scanning on the four scan, and that's it done. And this is the ELM lead that you can buy for 20 quid scanning, and that goes through. And we'll have to change the toggle switch, which takes me a wee minute or two to do. That's what the delay is. And there we go again for the rest of the modules. So that's it. So that's about it. Definitely uh, improvement made on that. Uh, still a wee bit slower than this by here. It's uh, directly USB connected and uh, no toggle switch to do. And uh, yeah, but if you haven't got one of them, you can get that for 20 odd quid as I showed you. Uh, that that I'm running is a fully licensed version. I think that cost me about £40 and uh, well worth the money, especially if you have a Ford or if you do multiple makes like me, uh, that can do a wee bit of programming and, and stuff like that. Pretty unbelievable for the for the price point there of, of what you can get if you, if you do Fords or have a Ford. And uh, yeah, but I think I'll be using this by here just because I have it. And uh, yeah, it is, it is a wee bit quicker, there's no doubt. But significant improvement made there. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Okay, hope that helps. And uh, hope you maybe get something out of that. And all the best and bye-bye.